Occupying the space around the City Hall in Rochester, organizers of one group, Free the People Rock, announced the group is ending the demonstration, which has taken place there since last Tuesday. News 8's Atia Collins talked to leaders and joins us from City Hall with more on that move. Atia. Well, Adam, like you said, City Hall behind me, it will be empty tonight as leaders plan the next steps in fighting for justice for Daniel Prue. Now, I did talk to some organizers from Free the People Rochester today, and they say they've been impressed with the movement up to this point, but they do say a break is needed for those who have been here every day so they can take care of their mental and physical health and plan for the next steps. Free the People Rochester leaders say they are winning the fight in justice for Daniel Prude. I think one of the things I'm most proud of is this community coming together to rally around justice for Daniel Prude, you know, uh, to rally around this family, you know, the Prude family, Joe Prude, um, and really like become that voice um, and that energy to push for change that's going to mean something good for our entire community, not just a few. For nearly three weeks, protests have rallied through the city. Images of encounters with police filled the first two nights of protests, and leaders say they are trying to work with local media and make sure the message of the justice doesn't get lost. And that's also an expectation is that uh, that all aspects of our society, including the media, are really helping to, again, elevate voices from the margin that are not traditionally heard. The group is celebrating recent developments, including a new policy from the attorney general's office on releasing body cam footage and recent subpoenas issued for Mayor Warren and RPD Chief Mark Simmons. Protests have been going on for nearly three weeks and leaders recently stopped occupation at City Hall, but say the fight is not over. So we have done this. We've actually brought awareness to a lot of issues. We brought awareness that has also resulted in change happening, you know, immediately and ideas that um, uh, ideas being heard, you know, on a number of levels. And so this is not the time to be also draining everyone of the energy that it's going to take to really continue this fight. Protest leaders say they are going to plan future events and they still have a list of demands they are fighting for, including the prosecution of those officers involved in Daniel Poon's encounter and also the passage of Daniel's law, which will help, which will improve the police response to mental health calls. Reporting from downtown Rochester, Atia Collins, News 8.